I'm Susie from Nail Care Education. My friend Grant let me know that Jenna Marbles posted a video mentioning me. How cool is that? After watching it, she's hilarious. But I noticed when she was doing her own nails, some of the things she did right and some of the things she did wrong. Let's talk about that. If you haven't seen it yet, check out Jenna Marbles doing my own acrylic nails. <laughs> you won't regret it. Let's go through it. Oh, she's in great shape. She forgot her pants though. Shout out to Nail Career Education, Susie. You have some damn fine entertaining videos on your channel, lady. I'm gonna try to give myself some acrylic nails. I think I'm gonna buff them. Okay, well, <laughs> she's buffing her nails, and yes, you're supposed to do that, but the grit she's using, I suspect, is rather fine, so she's gonna be buffing it kind of smooth, and that's not what you wanna do, so the grit is really important. So buffing them is right, but with that grit is wrong, and it's a really super light buff. Not an over buffing. So I put the priming liquid all over and I let this dry. So she's put the priming liquid all over. Priming liquid is supposed to go on quite sparingly. You don't want to put it all over at all. You can oversaturate the nail, but she didn't know that. Here we go with the forms. She calls it the sticker. Put your fingernail under there and then you like wrap it around. So that's pretty amazing. Without much instruction, she actually is not doing too bad of a job. I mean, obviously it's not perfect on there and I'd love to get my hands on to show her, but she actually doesn't do too bad here. <gasps> I made a ball! Oh, it's huge. <laughs> oh. She's right, the ball she did put on there is extremely huge and when you're learning, you just wanna take smaller ones. I was really impressed when her liquid to powder, she said she didn't really get it too much, but when she dipped the liquid to powder, she actually did a pretty good job. She had a giant ball, but if she did that just a little bit less in the liquid, a little bit less in the powder, she would just would've got a smaller ball. But she actually has a pretty good product control on there. It's not running all over the place and it's not dry. I was actually kind of impressed about that literally not sticking at all. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, it's hardening. Oh, it's on my cuticle. So Z, girl, you are a liar. This is impossible. Oh, what the? F okay, now that's, that's pretty hilarious. Um, so her placement of where she put that bead of acrylic, she put it too close to the cuticle. You wanna put it a little further away, especially such a giant ball, and you wanna pat it down. But I gotta tell you, it's, I think it's more fun watching her do it this way. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a bloodbath. All I want to do is grab that brush from her and just get in there and just kind of try to help her. Girl, where did you get these? <laughs> <laughs> One thing she's done here that she didn't even notice because she doesn't know anything about forms is the form is actually popped open. So it's going to make her look like a wider and bigger nail and much bigger than she really wants it to be. Ooh, the beauty, the grace. Craftsmanship. I don't know much about beauty and grace and craftsmanship, but she sure got guts to try it. She's attempting one of the hardest nails to do in the industry, which is the French white with the smile line on the end. To attempt that the first time is really very brave. Oh, this is the worst idea. Oh, my. That one came out slightly better. She's right, that one did come out better. She's had a little practice now, not much instruction, of course. She knew not to do such giant beads on there and it actually turned out quite a bit better. I think that's enough nail glue. <laughs> yeah, so what she learned is nail glue really adheres very quick, within seconds. Once you place it down, it's glued. And yeah, she used way too much glue, but it didn't take a while to get that one off. Point of no return, thick territory. While this beautiful one dry. What I was really impressed with, she put the brush down at one point before she went on to do the other fingers and there was no hardened acrylic in her brush. So I was impressed by that. A lot of people when they're first starting, they get a lot of acrylic stuck in there. She didn't. Ow, ow, ow. I've done it y'all. I've drawn blood <laughs> from filing, so. I don't know what kind of file she's using, but you do have to score the edges of some files and maybe she didn't do that so she wouldn't know that sometimes you can cut yourself or just over filing, of course. Maybe it's not a very good grit. So she's really trying to get those things down. Is this what you want? Is that cute yet? The day that Jenna uploaded her videos, coincidentally, I uploaded a couple of videos, but it was just a little too late. And in my videos, I have plastic fingers that I highly recommend. That's what we learn and that's what we work on. Unfortunately, she didn't see those. Maybe one day I can fix those for her. That's a bummer. I'll give her a really great set. Oh wait, where does she live? California. Oh, yep. I could help her out there. <laughs> anyway, I hope she does okay with those. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.